Those who are given shelter say it's a vital service and any cut would be wrong. Also ahead before half past six. Evening first tonight, young people at a hostel in Exeter fear they could end up on the streets because of changes to its funding. The Exeter foyer has 36 beds. But there are concerns that number will be reduced by half. Richard Lawrence has the story. Patients at Derriford Hospital's emergency department may soon get the chance to take their pain relief into their own hands. A new trial will look at whether patients get more relief if they're in charge of their own medication. Our health correspondent Jackie Bird takes up the story. Well, the issue has provoked quite a few comments from you here. Just a couple. Uh, Alan Bokert wrote in to say the Forest of Dean is a place to treasure. It belongs to the people. It is not for sale now or at any time. And foresters will fight to keep it as it is a green haven. And Mary Jane Peterson, who lives in Wadebridge in Cornwall, wrote, We love the woodlands. There's so much to learn from them. Please leave them alone. One more comment. Marion Garsden said, I think it's terrible privatising the forestry. It's there for everyone to enjoy. I used to live in the Forest of Dean and my daughter lives in Bream. It has wonderful walks. Thank you for those comments. The debate continues online. At half past six, as usual, it's the ITV Evening News. Here's Mary Nightingale.